Hi there and welcome to this video in which we'll be using the Angular CLI to create a custom Webpack configuration. This article for this video is over at alligator.io and you can check that out over there. Okay, so I have a brand new Angular project and I'd like to talk about the Angular CLI to start with. So the Angular CLI gives us all sorts of power. One of these powers is the ability to forget about the Webpack configuration process. We don't have to make our own Webpack configs to make good apps. And the Webpack config that comes along with Angular works. But if we want to extend that with a custom configuration, it's quite difficult to do if you don't know how. So this video here should get you up and running to add your own Webpack configuration. So I have a standard Angular app, as you can see, and it has Moment installed. Now, Moment is simply allows us the ability to work with various dates and times. And it also gives us the ability to work with various locales. But unfortunately, what happens is that every one of these locales are added to our final bundle. Thankfully, there's a Webpack plugin which removes the unnecessary locales. And we'll be lacking using that with a custom Webpack plugin. So the first thing to do is run npm install at Angular dash builders slash custom dash webpack. And we want to use dash D to save that to our development dependencies. If you are following along with this example, you will also need to install moment using npm install moment. We can then go ahead and create a custom webpack config. So inside of our source, we can then go ahead and create a new file called custom dash webpack dot config dot js and that's in the root of the project and we can set module dot exports we're going to be adding on and exporting some new plugins like so and the plugin that we're going to be using is the moment locales plugin so let's make a const for the moment locales plugin and that will be required from the moment dash locales dash webpack dash plugin. We will need to open up our terminal and we'll need to import that by installing moment locales webpack plugin as a dev dependency. Now inside of our plugins object, we can say new moment locales plugin. And we can say that we want to use the locales to keep and we want to keep maybe the French locale. So this here, everything inside of this module exports would be the custom Webpack configuration that we want to add to the Angular one. This doesn't overwrite it, it simply adds it to the config. We can then head to angular.json and inside of here, we can scroll down until we see architect build. We need to change that by editing the builder to be angular-builders slash custom-webpack and then we want to append colon browser. Inside of the options, we can pass a custom webpack config. So custom webpack config. And that's an object. And that object has a path and that's simply to the custom dash webpack dot config dot JS. And we also want to set the replace duplicate plugins equal to true. So this here is using the webpack configuration, i.e. the custom webpack config when we build the project. It currently won't exist if we wanted to run this on ng-serve as well. And for you, it might just be the fact that you only want this custom config whenever you're building for production or just building the project in general. Now, if you want this when you're using ng-serve, we'll have to open up the terminal once more and we'll have to import by installing at angular-builders. This time we want the dev-server. We want to add that to the dev dependencies. Once that has installed, we can head down to serve. And under the builder, at the moment it uses the dev kit, we want to use the at angular-builders slash dev-server. And this time we want a generic server. That should be everything we need to do here inside of the angular.json. So let's now head over to the app component 
and we'll import moment from moment. And inside of the constructor, we can set the locale to fr. And we can log out the current time in fr. And that will simply be moment.format and also LLL. We can then log this out to the console by saying console log current time fr. Before we check this, you can see that I've made a syntax error and I've gone in the angular.json and said dev start. That should have been dev server. And once we serve this again by saying ng serve, this should now use the new Webpack configuration. And if we look inside of the console, it should give us the French locale for the date. But if we go ahead now and we change this to be DE, for example, the French locale will no longer exist. So let's change that to DE and restart ng serve. And when I do that, you can see we have April 13th, 2019. And that's because that's an EN locale. So EN will always exist in the build. So if I go back to app component, but now set the locale to be DE and we refresh, you can see we have a DE style locale. Now, another thing we can do at this stage is go and look at the production bundle. As you can see, if we look at our node modules for moment, we are using the entirety of moment. But if we look at locale at the bottom, we are using only DE.js. So we've got rid of every single other locale other than DE. So I have a video on this. If it's not up right now, it will be very soon, looking at performance analysis with Angular. And we look at how to use the Webpack Bundle Analyzer like this. So this video has been looking at how we can use a custom Webpack config. We created a custom Webpack config inside of the angular.json file for both the serve status and the build status. And we also looked at how to use a Webpack plugin such as the Moment Locals plugin. Thanks a lot for watching. If you'd like to see more videos on this, hit that subscribe button and let me know inside of the comments section below. Until next time, I'll see you very soon in my next video.